the idea here is to actually see the difference between the recording qualities and the various settings. I have the white balance set to a specific white balance so that that's not playing tricks all the time. I realize sunset isn't the best time to test this, but that's the way we're gonna do it. Right now we are at, I think it's called MXP. Yeah, which is the like 24 megabits per second highest quality recording that this camera can do. And the next clip, we will step down to FXP, which is only 17 megabits per second. And so we're on the roof of the car again. I'm just out in a parking lot so that there's environmental noise hopefully to do you know the testing with this is like I said the second best quality option this is still recording in 1920 by 1080 I've also gone in and actually set the frame rate to record at 30 progressive instead of 60 interlaced so that you know it's more friendly for YouTube all right, so this setting is, I believe, only 12 megabits per second, and those breaks really kind of hurt my ears. Again, same, similar scene. And then I will set it on the roof of the car again. Since I haven't had this camera very long, I'm actually not sure how to turn the image stabilization off. So I'm not sure if you've noticed, but when I set it down, it kind of wobbles for a bit. It seems to be the IS motor kind of settling down and realizing that it doesn't need to work so hard anymore because the camera isn't moving. I will be editing all of these in iMovie, and then once they get uploaded to YouTube, the file quality is going to get sucked out like it, you know, YouTube does bad things to files. Bad things to good files. Anyway, um, yeah, again, like I said, this video is mostly just so that I can throw this up as an example of what the different settings provide and the quality loss that actually occurs as you decrease the recording quality setting thingy, yeah. got basically this setting and then one more to test. Uh, this one is 7 megabits per second. Yeah, and this is the SP mode. Uh, the final will be LP, sometimes referred to as long play, I think, not really sure. And that mode is only going to be 5 megabits per second, so it's you know, from 24 down to 5 is quite a huge uh, contrast. What I'll do is after I record that clip, I will go back and record one more at 24 and then throw that in at the end. Alright, so what you see here is long play mode. Like I said, this is the lowest quality recording that you can set on this camera. On the tiny 2.7 inch screen it still looks pretty good, but once it goes through further conversion in editing software and then and then it'll get uploaded to YouTube. We're still we're still in uh, long play mode here. I just accidentally hit the record button. I was gonna bring the remote out to do this, but I decided not to and I wish I would have because it's cold and I could have just left the camera on the car and change the settings with the remote and not been so cold. I should have worn more layers. So let's do one more. Let's shoot back up to 24 megabits per second, the FXP, whatever that stands for. And then we can, you know, hopefully have a nice comparison uh, straight from the low all the way to the high end. 
and see ya. Blah, 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 words and such and stuff. Okay, so we're back at MXP now. Uh, according to the menu, it doesn't actually stand for anything. It just says record in high quality. So hopefully there is a discernible difference here. Maybe not in the video, but in the audio possibly. I will go ahead and set it on the car one last time and then be done with it. I'm really not a fan of the way the image stabilization settles down after I set the camera down and it's all like... But maybe that's just a setting I haven't found yet. I don't know everything about the camera because I've only had it for a few days. If you are not my brother and you watch this video anyway and you've made it this far, thanks. Sorry for wasting your time. If you found this useful at all or you'd like to know more about this camera, if you have a question, go ahead and let me know, you know, in the comments. I should have brought a tripod and put it on the roof of the car so I don't have to bend over. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, I'll try and figure it out for you and let you know.